Hi everyone, I'm Yash, the guy behind OCCT. It's been a while since my last video, but things have been crazy this year and I've been working like 8 months on V12 and I'm finally ready to show it to you guys. I want to keep this video short, so let's jump right in and let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is OCCT V12 in its first alpha version, so what you're going to see isn't final. The first thing you will notice, besides being really beautiful, it's uh, on the top level you will now have a monitoring bar. Instead of displaying the full-fledged monitoring information, which was uh, frankly too much on every screen, now you have this bar which will give you critical figures about your setup, all your CPU, memory and GPU figures. And if you've got several GPUs or several CPU, you will have a button here to switch between the first, the second one and so on. So uh, it's really useful, you have bars here which change colors depending on their values when I know the maximum value. Um, frankly, uh, staring it for so long while developing is really useful and really practical compared to the old version. Um, the rest of the app um, in terms of functionality is pretty much the same. You will have your usual stability test tab with all the available stability uh, tests in OCCT. You have uh, now very accessible tooltips with actual content so that it will explain you uh, what's going on with this setting. Uh, you will have the default value also displayed at the bottom. Um, and I will let you discover all the changes I've made. I mean, the extensives, there's lots of stuff in, stuff in there. And uh, if I start a test, for instance, this screen is mostly the same and you will see all the monitoring bar instantly showing me that my CPU is under load on every uh, core on top. So yeah, this is a huge step up from the old UI. You still have your benchmark here. When you run a benchmark, the graphs will display below. You've got the stability certificate, which is still under construction at this time. Um, it's going to be final very soon. And the monitoring screen. And there are lots of stuff to stay here. I got rid of the top level sandwich menu on the left hand side, which lots of people missed, to be honest, uh, and replaced it by this uh, config bar. So you can still uh, enable and disable stuff, but now you can hide CPUs, GPU and so on. And if you want to see only your CPU value, what you're going to do is a right click and it's going to filter everything else. Do a right click again and you enable everything back. So uh, this doesn't seem like much, but it's very useful. For instance, if I only want to see my GPU temps, there you go clicks. It's very easy. Um, also, uh, on the graph, you can now click and snipe the values. So you can see what is the exact value for that point. Um, it's, again, it's very easy to use and it's very useful. And you, as always, have the tooltips on the top, on the top right side uh, with uh, all the figures, minimum, maximum, average for that graph. Um, so as well, you can still resize it and you can switch between a table and graph on both display. System information isn't, uh, isn't fully implemented yet and uh, settings are pretty much as usual and about is still under work. But yeah, um, this is it. This is V12 and it's basically a brand new GUI and a rewrite of 60% of OCCT. Okay, so I can already hear in the background, that's it, a new GUI? Well, yeah, but it's more important than it looks. This new GUI is compatible with every major operating system out there. That means Windows, Linux, Mac OS. So in the future, OCCT will be released for Linux, for Steam Deck, or for Mac OS. That's not going to happen for V12. V12 is going to be Windows only. But V13 will be released for Linux. And this opens up many things. You may want to build a, a USB stick and boot from there and uh, start OCCT without touching your operating system. 
you want to test memory uh, without um, your OS being eaten by an unstable memory and having to reinstall everything. This is going to be possible. You want to test your server uh, running Linux uh, with OCCT. It's also going to be possible. So this opens up many things. But again, not for V12. V12 will be Windows only. V13 will be available for Linux. So there is still some weight, but I'm getting there. This was the first step for getting OCCT multi-platform. And uh, this is a huge achievement and uh, I'm really happy uh, I, could, uh, I could do it. So I'm gonna ask you for a tad more patience. Things are under heavy development on my side and I will soon get there. That's it for V12 and to celebrate um, the availability of the alpha version for Patreon subscribers, um, I'm doing a giveaway um, thanks to Cooler Master uh, with a hardware to win and cool prizes. So make sure you join uh, my Discord server and you will find all the details here, how to enter, don't worry, nothing complex. And uh, make sure you participate and try to win uh, some prizes. Um, thanks for your attention and uh, see you very soon, hopefully for OCCT v12 release and more details about the v13 plans.